lot of people love dog parks and a lot of people hate dog parks. I'm gonna show you guys how to safely take your dog to the dog parks and set your dog up for success. So I personally don't mind dog parks. I took my first dog to quite a few and I learned a lot from going to them. Clients call me all the time. And they tell me about incidents they have at dog parks and now they're scared. But I don't think dog parks are something to be scared of. Under the right situations, the right dog parks, they can be very good. So we're gonna use Rita here. Rita is a young lab mix. Do you think we want, or the owners want, or I want this dog to go into a dog park and have some traumatic event happen? That's what we're trying to avoid. You don't want a young dog like this to go get bullied or to get aggressed upon or anything like that. So you've got to be safe and I'm going to show you exactly how to be safe. All right. So the first thing guys is don't let your dog pull you to the dog park. Watch my last video on loose leash walking, but they shouldn't pull you to the dog park. Why? Because they build up all this energy. Okay? They pull you there. Now this dog really wants to go. Okay. That's good. That's good for this video. They build up all this energy pulling you there, right? They pull, 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 and then they get there and you open the gate and the dog runs in where it's got all this pent up energy from pulling you and you never sort of had the dog uh, lessen the dog energy. You didn't tamp the dog down at all. So it just got in there and it was wild eyed and a dog goes after him because the dog came in with energy. So how do you do that? Not let him pull, watch my last video. But also if you don't, if your dog isn't great at loose leash walking yet, just use the turn method. Okay, you're walking to the dog park. Let's see, come on Rita. You're walking to the dog park. Rita goes, oh my God, a dog park. I'm simply gonna turn and walk the other way. Walk back to your car. Not all the way, start to go back to your car. Now she's walking a little better. Now we're gonna go to the dog park again. Let's see if she pulls. She's leaving, right? She doesn't have a lot of energy. Most dogs have more than this. But my point is, you don't let them just pull you to get, to get you there, okay? Come on, now we've created a dog park down here. There's five dogs. Now look at them. Already walking better. Already those two turns, she's calm. Now she's gonna go into this dog park calmer than she would have if I, where I started out, where she was in front of me. Look at her already. Look at her already, she's doing great. Okay, so now we can approach the dog park more, but we're not gonna approach it when she's all crazy and pulling, cause she's gonna get in there with energy and those dogs are gonna sense it. Not those necessarily, but they're, all it takes is one bad dog at a dog park to attack your dog, okay? And if your dog is calmer, that dog is less likely to attack your dog. That's just the facts. Okay, now we're, now we're approaching the dog park, all right? Not too much pulling, still kind of calm, a little bit right there. Now I don't wanna go back up these stairs, so I'm just gonna do the, I'm just gonna stop. I'm not gonna turn. But again, we're calming her down a little bit. Okay, so no pulling to the dog park is rule number one. All right, the other rule, as you're approaching the dog park or getting close to the dog park, you wanna look at the dog park. I've been in the dog park with my first dog, Bosco. I was in the dog park and these two dogs showed up and I didn't like the way they ran up to the fence. I was there like five minutes and I'm like, let's go. I left, I didn't like it. I didn't like the dynamics of those dogs. Two dogs together and two dogs against one dog is a bad fight. It's way worse than one-on-one. -on -one. So I didn't like the dynamics and I left. And it was kind of obvious why I was leaving to be honest with you, but I didn't care. You gotta protect your dog, okay? It doesn't matter if people get offended, it doesn't matter. You gotta protect your dog. Would anything have happened that day? I don't know, but I'm not, I wasn't willing to take that with my young dog. Bosco is probably a little older than this dog at the time. All right, so look at the dog park. Now, if I'm looking at this dog park, I'm happy. I like this dog park. Look at all these dogs. I think they look fantastic. This dog right here, Ridgeback right at the gate, looks fantastic. Okay, no dogs running around, picking on other dogs. There's not, dog parks also have weird people groups. The Poway Dog Park, there'll be like a group of people over here and they have their dogs. And then another group over there and they all hang out there every night. And then one group, the dog will be under the table and because they're there every night, the table is the dogs. And then if another dog comes over, the dog goes, get out of here, other dog. And there's this, this, this weird dynamic. You gotta be aware of that stuff. All right, so I would walk into this dog park. I would tell, big dogs, I don't care. They're nice dogs, big, little, whatever. Okay, they're not barking at the fence. Now I'm gonna come in. 
most dog parks you kind of do this outside right and we're going in so now you're in the dog park all the dogs are cool with your dog which is often the case okay again if you don't like it if something's going on in that dog park that dog over there you see him being weird whatever don't go over there okay don't don't or leave or whatever you want all right but the dog park's cool right he's playing with my dog it's all cool now what if now that you're in the park okay now that you're in the park now you have to protect your dog all right if someone's playing too rough with your dog go over there grab your dog grab the other dog tell him get out of here someone has something to say about that now i'm not saying you be overly crazy right i'm not saying you be a helicopter parent but if it's something out of line you need to step in because they're not going to step in most likely okay you need to protect your parent your 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 child right your dog don't be crazy don't be an out of control parent but you know what's right and you know what's wrong okay and rough play is not is not wrong that's not what i'm saying but if there's something you don't like don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid to say something to a person or to a, uh... hey, leave it, leave it. So, we're gonna walk around a little bit. Leave it. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and I'm gonna show you what I mean. If it gets rough, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Now, you can also practice behaviors at dog trucks. Okay, you can practice some comes, you can practice some sits, don't go crazy with it, but just try to do some, some stuff, some basic obedience stuff. All right, so that is my video on being safe at a dog park. Protect your dog, don't let him pull, and look at the dynamics of the dog park before you ever go in. If you do those things, your dog should be pretty good in a dog park, okay?